Today we are discussing the different turbo offerings from Ben's Injection. So we have from left to right, over here we have our hybrid turbo, the TO4E in the middle, and the Holstead HX35 8 centimeter. So I just want to talk a little bit about each one so you can kind of know the differences and make a better decision. So first of all, we'll start off with the hybrid turbo. Um, if you look at it, there is not a whole lot different from the stock turbo as far as uh, visually. I'll give you a little run around of it here and then I'll talk more about it. Um, what it is is just that it's a stock turbo that has been hybridized and what that means is that it has been, it's a stock turbo that's been taken apart, cleaned, if there's any flaws, any micro cracks or anything, uh, those were repaired and then the housings were machined to fit bigger, better, upgraded, more efficient wheels. So if you look inside, that's what the compressor side wheels look like. You can see it's our Benz Injection OM606 K14 Hybrid. Uh, it will also fit the 605 manifold. You can see it has the triangular flange. Um, it has been converted to pressure wastegate. So what that means is the pressure that's generated from the compressor goes into this hose into this wastegate bulb and that is what actuates the wastegate down here at the bottom. The reason why that's nice is you can use this for swaps where you don't have a computer. Normally it's vacuum actuated. So it takes away needing a computer to read vacuum and actuate it that way. This just controls off boost. It's set to 1.4 bar. Um, you can adjust that if you would like here. That's about the, the threshold for the stock map sensor if you have it in the W210. And we feel like that's a, a good spot to be at 1.4 bar. The flange down here, normally it has studs that are sticking out, but personal experience when you're installing that on an engine, especially if it's on the W210, it's frustrating. It's kind of hard to do it with the studs because they're sticking out and you have other things that you're trying to line up and get on there. You'll notice that when you take your stock turbo off, it's much nicer just having regular bolts. You can put it on when it's flush with the manifold, stick these through the backside and screw them in makes it a whole lot easier. Um, so visually, there's not a whole lot to tell you about. It looks exactly the same, and that's what I feel is the benefit and what's nice about it. There's other companies who offer hybrid turbos, but they usually have a different compressor housing. So they get the, the exhaust housing and they put a different compressor housing on it, which I feel like the downfall of that is that then you need a different um, air filter connection. You usually need a different uh, intercooler or output connection, coupling, adapter. I wanted something that is as straightforward as let's take off your old turbo, let's put this one on and be done. And that's exactly what this is. You get to keep the stock uh, Mercedes air filter, which is better than any aftermarket air filter. And this is you remove one, you put this right on. If you are running it on a swap and you don't have a computer, it's gonna run great. If you're keeping it in the W210 and you have your computer, it's still gonna run great with Sean Tracy's Stage 2 ECUs. Next, we have kind of the, the middle here, which is a TO4E, and if you shop, talk to Sean Tracy and ask him for a turbo recommendation, this is his number one choice. It has a .63 uh, exhaust housing, now, the kit that it's included in is the budget kit. We go with the brand uh, Max Speeding Rods. They've been really good. They make some great products. Um, take this off so you can see what it looks like on the inside here. So T3 housing, the adapter that we include in our kit is for this. So it takes the Mercedes triangular manifold 
and it puts it into a T3 and it also bends it up to where this is sitting up higher. And when you get this, you're gonna clock the housing and I have a video of how to do that real easy. You just unscrew these six bolts on the side, you rotate it, screw them back in and you're done. Very easy to do. And then we include a longer wastegate hose because this is gonna be pointing down over here. So you have a hose that goes from here to here, which is included. Um, I'll give you a look. And you also need to rotate the center because this is the feed. And so the feed needs to be on the other side pointing up. So you also undo the six down here to be able to rotate. And last picture of the bottom. You can see the wastegate is tucked back in there. And there's your exhaust housing. So here is the TO4E. And Last is the Holset HX35. This is in the performance kit. It's more money. It's a genuine Holset. As far as the exhaust housing, it's the same thing. This has a twin scroll. And you can see the number eight. So that is what is special about this turbo. I get people sometimes saying, isn't the HX35 way too big for the stock injection pump? And the answer is, yeah, an HX35 that you would buy anywhere really is gonna be too big for a stock injection pump. But this is not one that you buy anywhere. It's special it as a number eight uh, housing. So what that is, the stock one is a 12 centimeter and this is eight. So it's a lot smaller. What that means is that the exhaust gases, when they come in here, there's less space that it needs to fill in this cavity in order to spin the turbine so it can spin it faster, so you get quicker spool. Um, this gives a lot of boost higher up. Um, I don't remember exact number. I know by 3000 RPM, it's taken off like a rocket. It does come in sooner than that. Here's a look from the bottom so you can see what the flanges look like and you'll also need to clock this um, preferably try to clock it where you have a vise I recommend put a towel on this and then pinch this in a vise and the way that you clock it is it has right here these ring clamps so you pinch this and that allows you to rotate the compressor housing because like I said, it needs to be, this needs to be pointing down with the flange because picture your manifold right here, you have your triangle, the adapter comes up like this. So it's installed. Let's see if I can do this with one hand as I always say. Uh, it's gonna be sitting about like this. And so you rotate the, the housing pointing down. And I have videos explaining that. Not hard to do. Uh, it is nice to have a friend or someone helping you. So there's a kind of a walkthrough of all three of them. I uh, wanted to kind of discuss more of the differences about them. Like I said, my personal favorite, just because it's so quick and it's easy to install, you get to keep the stock Mercedes air filter. It takes probably an hour to take off your old turbo, an hour to put on the new one. Um, and it's a, it's a joy to ride, really, really nice. Pair that with the Sean Tracy. All these are meant to be with Sean Tracy Stage 2 ECUs that we sell with the kits. The middle one is the, the TO4E. Um, I also really, really like that one. It has good top end, but yet it's still quick. You still get boost early on. And then if you are planning on upgrading your injection pump later on, this is the kit that you wanna buy because um, it's a whole set HX35, so it's good for someone has dynoed this, it was on a 605 and they got 385 horsepower with 8 centimeter housing. So you can give it more fuel and still go above the 300 horsepower that your stock 6 millimeter EDC pump, that's assuming that you're putting it in the W210, your stock injection pump has six millimeter elements and it's designed to work well with all of these. But if later you get more fuel, you get a bigger injection pump, this is a turbo that you want because this has more top end so it can keep going. Especially if you wanna change out the housing for a standard 12 centimeter housing, then you can go 400, 450 horsepower. 
Um, granted, you would need more, uh, not more transmission. You'd need a stronger transmission. These, all three of them kind of max out the stock transmission. It doesn't like to go above about 300 horsepower. You can sometimes get 320 if your transmission is in good condition, you have your boost later on. Um, the TO4E is a great middle ground and it include, it's included in the budget kit, so you're gonna save some money on it. Like I said, it's, a, it's not a genuine Garrett. It's a max speeding rods, which makes really good products at great prices. So that's why we really like this turbo. And then you have our, our own uh, hybrid turbo that we have made especially for us. It's a breeze to install, does really, really well. So there you have it. I've put all of these in my personal cars where as, customer, as well as customers' cars, and I've driven them all. Me personally, if you're asking me what I like as far as a daily driver, it's the hybrid turbo. The reasoning is that boost is just quick. It's right there. Anytime you want it, it's, it's fast. Um, top end, these are kind of in order of how they're going to get top end. So the higher up, the bigger the turbo, it's going to have more top end. The smaller it is, the more bottom end it's going to have. And me personally, this is just personal preference, I like quick. I like, you know, being in a stoplight and just being able to smash the pedal and have it jet off. And I like to be able to pass people real quick because I need to on the highway or something. So that's my personal choice. So there's a kind of a walkthrough of all three of them. I uh, wanted to kind of discuss more of the differences about them. Like I said, my personal favorite, just because it's so quick and it's easy to install, you get to keep the stock Mercedes air filter. It takes probably an hour to take off your old turbo, an hour to put on the new one, um, and it's a, it's a joy to ride. Really, really nice. Pair that with the Sean Tracy. All these are meant to be with Sean Tracy Stage 2 ECUs that we sell with the kits. The middle one is the, the TO4E. Um, I also really, really like that one. It has good top end, but yet it's still quick. You still get boost early on. And then if you are planning on upgrading your injection pump later on, this is the kit that you want to buy because um, it's a whole set HX35. So it's good for someone has dynoed this. It was on a 605 and they got 385 horsepower with eight centimeter housing. So you can give it more fuel and still go above the 300 horsepower that your stock six millimeter EDC pump, that's assuming that you're putting it in the W210, your stock injection pump has six millimeter elements and it's designed to work well with all of these. But if later you get more fuel, you get a bigger injection pump, this is a turbo that you want because this has more top end so it can keep going, especially if you wanna change out the housing for a standard 12 centimeter housing then you can go 400, 450 horsepower. Um, granted, you would need more, uh, not more transmission, you'd need a stronger transmission. These, all three of them kind of max out the stock transmission. It doesn't like to go above about 300 horsepower. You can sometimes get 320 if your transmission is in good condition, you have your boost later on. Um, the TO4E is a great middle ground and it include, it's included in the budget kit, so you're gonna save some money on it. Like I said, it's, a, it's not a genuine Garrett. It's a max speeding rods, which makes really good products at great prices. So that's why we really like this turbo. And then you have our, our own uh, hybrid turbo that we have made especially for us. It's a breeze to install, does really, really well. So there you have it. That's kind of a comparison of all three of them, just to sum this up real quick. Um, quickest boost, easiest to install, plug and play. You remove your old one, you put on this one, you're done. These two both need to be adapted. We include everything that you need to adapt them. So we include the manifold adapter. We include a downpipe that's custom made. We include all the oil lines, all the fittings, air filter. The only thing that you need when you get these turbos is to clock them, like I mentioned. There are, all three of them are designed around the W210 E300 with the stock six millimeter EDC injection pump, which is uh, capable of just under 300 horsepower. All three of these turbos, it's more of how you want them to come in as far as like when you want the boost. 
quickest middle ground later. This one is great if you are maybe planning on later upgrading your injection pump, putting the motor in something else, because uh, this is going to give you more top end. It can go above what your stock EDC pump is capable of. Both of these are more geared towards just that. But with the eight centimeter housing, you're still going to get really quick spool for being an HX35. These both need uh, air filter adapters, oil feed lines, your downpipe, uh, intercooler connections, which everything is included in the kits. So there you have it. Hopefully this has answered your question. You've enjoyed watching and it'll help you make a good decision on which turbo kit is best for you. Thanks everyone.